Java has eight basic or primitive types. The Java class basic types shows these. They are int, an integer, that is, a positive or negative whole number. The int type has 32 bits, so it can take on values from negative 2 to the 31 to positive 2 to the 31 minus 1. Float is a real number. This is called a float because the decimal point is said to float in the number. This means that there isn't fixed precision after the decimal point. Small numbers have more digits of precision after the decimal point than big ones. Double was so named because it has 64 bits, or double the precision of float. Car represents a single character. Here we use single quotes to assign the character C to the variable. A string object is a sequence of characters, and a string constant uses double quotes. The Boolean type is used to represent truth values, either true or false. Just as double and float are different sizes of real numbers, Java also has different sizes of integers. Byte, short, and long are 8, 16, and 64-bit integers respectively. The next line gives the variable gallons the value of 7. Since we told Java above that gallons is an int, we don't need to say that again. Each variable should be declared only once, and it is useful to group all of these at the top of the method. Note that we refer to gallons as a variable, meaning its value can change. It is important not to think of the equal sign in Java as a math equation. It is instead called an assignment. The next assignment highlights the difference. As an equation, gallons equals gallons plus one would have no solution. As an assignment, it says, evaluate the right side and make that the new value of the variable gallons. So we add one to gallons and it becomes eight. At the end, we print out gallons per mile. Note that we can use plus to append the value of gallons per mile to the end of the string. If we compile and run this program, it says that gallons, 8, divided by miles, 450, is 0. This is because when Java divides two integers, it gives an integer result. It gets rid of everything after the decimal point, even though the final answer will be put in a double. To fix this, we can add a typecast, making the value of gallons into a double before doing the division. After we do this, we can see the correct result of the division. Variables of basic types behave differently than variables whose type is a class. In the class basic types versus objects, we declare two different double variables, double one and double two. We set double two to equal double one, then add five to double one. When we print out the values of double one and double two, you will notice that the value of double one changed, but the value of double two is still 31. That is because assignment for basic types does a copy. Objects, variables of a class, behave differently. We also declare two points, P and P2. Although we can assign constant values directly to the doubles, we must call a constructor, indicated by the keyword new, to create an object of the class. If we fail to do so, we'll either get a compiler error or a null pointer exception at runtime. When we assign P2 to have the value P, we are not making a copy. Instead, P and P2 now both reference the same object. As a result, when we move the point P by calling the translate method on it, P2 also moves. You can see this in the result where we print out the location of P2.